Imagine, if you will, a world without Christmas, where the fat man has joined that big band up in the sky. A time where mommy sharks swim in oceans of clouds. A place of sight where time is our biggest enemy and all math is harder than trying to buy pixels in November. Watch out for that signpost up ahead because you've entered the Halloween zone. Put on display for you this evening, ladies and gentlemen, I give you one Gilbert Engineering Spider. What makes this 350 node, 46 inch spider tick? How do you mount such an item to your house? And what would it look like at night? We'll answer this and many more questions as you enter this week's episode of The Praying Spider. We are in our office, our studio, getting ready to go through this entire process. And like we always do in this type of video, we're going to go through what it costs to put this one particular prop together, including all the components, where we got all the different components that we're going to use in this particular build, how it's modeled in X lights, and all the sub models that are available already in the system for you. So you don't have to go and create all that stuff. And then we're going to actually put the physical prop together by putting the mounts on and then putting the lights in them and then putting the EMT bars through and actually going outside and mounting it on the house, showing you that process as well as tonight when it's dark, we'll fire it up and show you what it looks like at night. It's a really cool looking prop. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. And again, everything we talk about uh, and everything that we use in the video will be in the description for you to access uh, should you want to get any of these particular things, uh, as well as make sure you go all the way to the end because we have another giveaway in this video that we'll talk about at the end of this particular video. With that being said, now let's jump right into the Gilbert Engineering Praying Spider. It, it's an awesome prop, it's 46 inches, 350 nodes. Uh, it's made out of 10 millimeter heavy duty coral plast, so it's a very strong, sturdy stuff. It is split in half if you're gonna have it shipped uh, if you pick it up from them, you can have it not split. And we actually use the mounting brackets to hold the pieces uh, upright and together. But it's $45. They do have a smaller version, which we may get a few of those down the road to put in different places around the, the yard. Uh, the 24 inches are only $12.50 a piece, and it's only 150 lights for each one of those. So that's something uh, to think about also. As far as the, the lights, we got those in our pre-buy we did from Wally's Lights. Uh, which which arrived uh took a little bit longer than everybody wanted out there but um as, as you know by the video i did which is up here about how long it takes to get pixels um we weren't uh, displeased because it's the middle of summer and we've got our pixels and now we can really start getting to work but the mounts though we went back to inspire light show and there are some fantastic mounts uh that he has on this site that we talked about before and so we went down to the Gilbert Engineering page just to see if he had any mounts for the spider. But he didn't have any for the spider. It's not really a huge high density prop, uh, even though it's got some good density. So what we did is we used both uh, the uh, rectangular mount here. We printed our own. Uh, and, and then we used the round one. And we used the rectangular one to, to hold open the spider and to, to mount it uh, firmly in place where that split line was. It was a perfect spot for it. And then we used uh, another uh, rectangular one at the base of the spider. Uh, and then we used a round one at the top because it gets kind of narrow and the square one was too long, but the round one fit perfectly in there. So we now can do a cross piece. And so if you're gonna have to buy your own, you're gonna need to get three of these and one of the round ones. And then you're also going to have to get their bushings because unless you print your own, because the bushings is what you put inside your PVC cross half inch. And that way half inch EMT will fit perfectly through it. These bushings are fantastic. The other nice option that John also has too is you can buy the plans for all of these mounts. The generic ones though are actually free. Uh, they are free plans as well as the bushings. So it costs you 
uh, nothing for those particular uh, plants. The only plan you'll have to buy is for the house mounted one, because this is what we mount our EMT to the house and you will need four of those, one for each piece of your cross uh, to mount to your house. So that one, if you wanna buy the plan is $12 for the, the STL file, um, or you can buy them outright at, at you know, about eight bucks a pop. So that is, a, and he has them both in a half inch and three quarter inch, depending on what kind of piping you are going to be using. So that is all of the particular pieces that we're going to need for this. So, so overall, here are all the different items that it's going to take to build your spider. The total cost is $233.70. You can save some money if you do print your own uh, mounting pieces, but please keep in mind that you do, one, have to have a 3D printer, which there's cost involved there. Two, there's also the expense of the material that you're going to use to print it and the shipping to get that material to you, the electricity, and of course your time. If you're printing a ton of these, it's gonna take up a lot of your time and you might be better suited just going and buying the mounts directly from Inspire Light Show and save yourself a little bit of time and a little wear and tear on your printer. So that's pretty much the overall cost. With that, I think we're just gonna get ready and jump into X-Lights. So here we go, we got nothing in our layout, absolutely nothing. And so what we're going to do, we're just going to go to the download arrow because the model is already in there. And then we're going to go to GE. And we're going to go to Halloween. And you scroll down to Praying Spider 350. That's what we want. And we're going to say Insert Model. And it's going to say there's a few model groups missing. That's because they have both the model groups for the... 150 version and the 350 in this so you just click ok and then hit your space bar until the ok's are done um, and then you can see here is the model for the spider and it, it put in all of the sub models are already there for you so you don't have to do anything with the sub models including even the individuals the legs all of that stuff so that's a real nice thing that it, it already puts the models in a group folder and creates the sub models for you that is a huge time saver when it comes to getting ready to do your sequencing and all of the behind the scenes work you have to do to make the prop do what it's supposed to do. So that, that's great that Gilbert uh, Engineering, because all the vendors have to do that work on the backside and then submit it to x Lights for them to be able to have that material available for us to use. So I think that's really great that they do that. So with that, that's what it costs. That's how it's uh, how it looks in X lights and how uh, how the model looks. Uh, the wiring view is a very easy wiring view. And for those that don't remember the wiring view, you just right click on your prop and show the wiring view. And we'll make it a little big. And it's a pretty easy diagram. Basically, you start at the cross and you go around and you just do the outside edge all the way, a little zigzag around the face, and just all the way around. Nothing really tricky about it. Uh, yeah, but like I always say, when you I draw mine out on there kind of generically, uh, unless it's really complicated. And then I will, uh, like on the head area, I kind of did the lines from hole to hole just so I could see it. But when I came to the legs, I knew it went down and up. So I just kind of did a little loop at the outside of the leg. And then I always number a circle every 100 because that's the strands that I'm using. And I guess that's another thing I should show you too while we're in X lights is how to... Uh, to model it with strings, uh, one string, 350. Some people say you can do it. Some, it all depends on how far away your controller is and, and all kinds of factors. But I went with two strands. But if you just hit two strands, then it's going to think, okay, well, it's 175 pixels per strand. And you can actually go in and click the box for start nodes and say, I want the first string to start at one. And for me, I wanted the second string to start at 201. So the first part's gonna be 200 pixels and then the last part will be 150 because I have strands of 50 as well as strands of 25. So I could have done the 175s, but I would rather do two 100s and a 150 and be done with it. So that's how we have the, the, the nodes modeled on the model. So with that now, let's go ahead and go out uh, into the other room uh, because it's a big prop. We're gonna do it on my spinning little uh, footstool and we're going to show you putting on the mounts and pushing all the pixels and I'll, I'll take it from there for you we'll see you out there 
All right, I didn't want to bore you all with all the zip ties, so we'll do the last one. And the big thing is, whichever side you push it into, the pull-down side is going to end up on the opposite. So you want to make sure you put it in the right direction so you can pull it the way you want it to pull, like so. You can use tools, which I talked about in the snowflake video that actually will pull and cut your zip tie when you're done. But you always want to have something that will help you cut off what we called in the last video the Christmas poo. This is all little pieces that end up all over your house or in your yard that your wife sees lying on the grass that us as husbands always miss because we can't see the Christmas poo. So these are a great little like to get cuts everything right down to the nub. Just like that. And you can see we have a, our circles for our 200 point over there. Here's our 300 point. Here's our start and here's our 100 over here. So with that, Let's just go ahead and start pushing some pixels. There we have it. She's all pushed. And there's our spider. So now let's go ahead and take it down to the garage and we'll put the EMT in it and we'll put it up on the house. All right, so here we can see the EMT on the back of the spider. We got the one round mounting bracket at the top, uh, the three square ones, and then we did secure just our up and down pieces with the bolts on either end. I need this center bar here to have a little bit of slack to move back and forth to adjust so it will line up. So there's no need really to put those in because the main weight's going to be carried at these outer points here. And so let's go ahead and drop our pigtails on and we'll go ahead and put it on the house and show you what it looks like. And as we talked about in the snowflake video, we're using the three mounts. And we're going to add a fourth one straight down here with the longer pole coming off our props. But these are the same mounting spots we had for the snowflake. So let's just take one prop down and put another one up, which we're going to do right now. So we can see we put the bolts in, we tighten the bolts down, and it's, it's not going anywhere. Same thing with the one over there. And then it snaps on to this, the one back here that kind of holds this piece in place, uh, which is great. And then we're going to put another one down here. Uh, with the pull coming down, which will give it a little more stability. And there she is, all mounted. So now we just got to wait for the sun to go down, and we'll show you what she looks like all lit up. Hope you all enjoyed this week's terrifying episode of 
the praying spider. We hope there was enough information to maybe give you that thought about putting this in your Halloween display this year. As always, we'd really want to thank you all for stopping by and spending a little bit of time with us. Hopefully in mid-July, we'll be able to see you all in Vegas and share some ideas and thoughts in person, which would be a whole lot of fun. Can't wait to meet some of you who are going to be there. We're also doing a giveaway. We're going to give away the mounts that we put on the back of the spider prop. And all you have to do, as always in all of our videos, is simply like the video, leave a comment in the description as to what you would use those mounts with on what particular prop you might have. And you have to hit the subscribe button and be one of our subscribers. So until the next time, folks, we hope you have a great holiday season and maybe we'll see you all in Vegas.